Hello world! In today's tutorial, we are going to set up Google Cloud and use the Gemini API. Gemini is a new model that Google released yesterday. I'll show you an example in both Python and Node.js. Before we start, I want to emphasize that the purpose of my tutorials is not that you code parallel to me. For this matter, I always upload the full code to my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. Now, let's get to the point. I never used Google Cloud in my life, so today I'll show you how to start using the Gemini API, even if you're like me. Let's do it. First, sign into Google Cloud. I don't remember exactly, but I think the first project was created automatically. If not, create your first Google Cloud project. Go to the Projects dashboard, which looks like this. Compared to OpenAI, this is a major difference. In OpenAI, you don't have projects in such a dashboard. But in Google Cloud, this is project based. Second, enable the Generative Language API. Click APIs and Services. Click Enable APIs and Services. Search for Generative Language API. and enable it by clicking this button. Third, create an API key. Go back. In the sidebar, find credentials. Click Create Credentials. Click API key and set it up. This is what I was talking about before. If you want to use the Gemini API, you need to create a project and create an API key for this specific project. Fourth, set your API key as an environment variable. Google, how do I set environment variables in Windows? After the environment variable is set, we need to restart the computer. Don't skip this. Fifth, install the Google Generative AI Python SDK or Node JS SDK. Run pip install Google Generative AI if you want to use Python SDK or NPM install Google Generative AI if you want to use Node JS SDK. Sixth, write a simple script like these two. On the left, I have a Python example, and on the right, I have a Node.js example. Here we simply get the API key, use the Gemini Pro model, and ask a simple question. Say, hi. Huh, if we run this Python example, we will get a response. If we run this Node.js example, we will get a response too. How cool is that? That's it. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please like comment, and subscribe.